I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a thinking question on polynomial inequalities. The question here is, determine an expression for f of x in which f of x is a quartic function, degree 4. f of x is greater than 0 when x is between minus 2 and 1. f of x is less than or equal to 0 when x is less than minus 2 or x is greater than or equal to 1 f of x has a double root when x equals to 3 and f of minus 1 is 96. So we are given a lot of conditions here. Let's try to understand uh, really what the conditions are. Right. So what I'll do here is make a rough sketch and after making a rough sketch we'll try to write the equation. Okay. So normally what I do is I use a portion as my rough work. Let's read through it. So we have quartic function, so that means degree 4. So let's write down what we have, degree 4, quartic function, correct? This is first thing we have understood. And the second thing we have understood is f of x is greater than, so f of x is greater than 0 in the interval when x is between minus 2 and 1. So, okay, so let's say this is minus 2 for us and this is 1, right? This is 1. These are not vertical asymptotes, okay? Uh, these are all guidelines to help us understand. So when we say it is positive between this interval, so we are saying it is positive here, right? It's positive here, okay? That's what it means, correct? Now, what else is given to us? It is given that f of x is less than or equal to 0. So it could be 0 or negative when x is less than or equal to minus 2. So here it is negative. Let's say negative or 0, right? Or when x is greater than or equal to 1. Here also it is negative. So we have a quartic function kind of like this. We're also given that it has a double root at 3. So let's say, let's say somewhere here. I mean, it doesn't look like to the scale. So let's say this is 3 for us, okay? Double root means, since we are going to negative, it has to turn at 3. Do you understand? That is kind of double root at 3. And the value at minus 1 is 96. So at minus 1 somewhere, we have a high value of 96. Is it okay? So that is how we can actually think about it. And now we can, you know, uh, sketch and get our uh, function. And then we'll write down the equation. So roughly speaking, we are looking for something uh, which has four zeros. So two, three, and four, that makes sense. So it could be linear zeros here, right? Since we need this portion to be positive, right? So what we could do here is that we could just go through this. Do you see that? And we could just go like this and cross that one. Is it okay? And go like this, turn, and go like this. Now if I make a graph like this, it looks like a graph for a quartic function. Makes sense, right? And we have a turning point at x equals to 3. We have this point in place, which is which is minus 196. Okay. And uh, we have satisfied this condition of being positive between minus 2 and 1 and negative elsewhere or 0. Is it okay? Now, based on this, I can write down my function f of x as equal to now it's a a times, we'll say a times is very important. x plus 2, that is the first root, and then x minus 1, linear, and then we have x minus 3, square. That gives you the turning point. Now how do you find a? To find a, we can utilize the given point, minus 1 for x, and f of x is 96. So we write this as 96 equals to a times minus 1 plus 2, minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 whole square correct so that is 96 equals to a times minus 1 plus 2 is 1 minus 1 minus is minus 2 and here we get 4 square minus 4 square which is 16 correct okay so that gives us a equals to 96 uh, and that is uh, minus 32. Is it okay? Minus 32. So from here, we can calculate the value of A. 
a is equals to 96 divided by minus 32 that is indeed minus 3. So once we get the value of a we can write down our function f of x as equal to minus 3 is a right minus 3 it makes sense going down perfect and rest factors x plus 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3 whole square. So I hope this method is absolutely clear. Thanks for watching and all the best. Thank you.